Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Operation True Love episode 85. Let's go ahead and get started. My tummy is actually hurting. I got some barbecue sandwich or barbecue brisket sandwich and it is not sitting well. Jinju Park. Hyunji Bae. Finally. Min Jun Seo. Exams are over. <laughs> Exams are over, and you, Yunyuk, and I can finally be together. Nothing is standing in our way now. <laughs> are you like, <laughs> How should I tell him that we don't need to avoid, uh, avoid being seen together anymore? And we can finally date. Sue Shen. Here, today's our day one as a couple. Is that too cheesy? <laughs> well, it's good to see you smiling, I guess. Mm -hmm. Huh? Next, Dan B. Lee. Uh -huh. <gasps> you, did, you did really well. Wow, Yunyuk. <laughs> Proud for him. Sounds like he did well. <laughs> Yu Jun Lee. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, self censored. Uh, what's wrong? What did you get? Uh, my mom's gonna kill me. Uh, oh. Hey, Yu Jun, let me see yours. M me too. Why do they lo look nervous? What happened? What's her grade? Here. Can I see too? Yeah, sure. Hey, Ajin, let me see yours. Pathetic. Guangmen, I have no idea why you think of me as a rival. It would make sense if you know, we were at similar levels, but... I'm, sh I'm just curious. Jeez, why do you have to put it like that? I should be upset about my bad grades. But maybe it's because so much has happened lately. My bad final exam scores don't seem so bad. What's important to me now is confessing my feelings to Yunyuk in a grand way. Are you that excited? Uh, huh? What? To visit the coast? You're all smiley. The coast? Huh? That's not what you were all happy about? I just assumed you were really excited about our summer trip. Summer trip? Oh. By the time the first semester is over, new groups formed for all sorts of reasons. After hearing rumors about me two-timing Minji, Minji distanced herself from us. Minu stopped coming to school after final exams. Hey, guess what? Minu transferred to another school. And not long after, we'd heard news that he'd moved to another school. Yunyuk and I both lost people in our friend groups. Whoa. And eventually, our groups merged into one. Look at that ocean! As if to make up for the friends that I that had left. <laughs> she is so pretty. How did all of us get so close? Oh, and there's one more person in our circle of friends. A random guy from class 10 with us class three years. <laughs> Doa. So Doa ended up joining us on this trip because... So where? Busan Gang Noon? Isn't Busan better if we're going to take the train? Don't you think Busan will be a bit too crowded? But Ga Gang Noon, Noon will be hard without a car. Then what about Shokcho instead? The coast? Uh, uh, Do. Hey Doa, it's been a while. Hi Doa. Hey, hey. Uh, huh? 
How are they so close now? Uh, we're going on a day trip together over the summer. Want to come? Yeah, you should join us. <sighs> oh. What's with him? Jealous. <laughs> uh. You going too? Huh? Me? Yeah, I'm going. Then I'll come too. Well, normally we don't include people outside of class three, but consider yourself special. I guess you could call it loyalty for our library group. Library group? Oh, you're coming too, right, Yunyuk? Huh? Oh. Oh. Hmm, why is he looking at me like that? Oh, the no contact policy. Let's keep it a secret for now until I confess to him. Mm. You can come. Ah. Oh. Oh, he's like a little puppy. Of course. Oh, these two guys are going to bump heads. Anyways. Doa met up with the guys at the library a few times, and apparently they got closed really fast. Exam period. Sue's so, not here. Library. You know, it's really easy for guys to be friends with each other. Girls, it takes a bit. I guess it doesn't take long for everyone to get along. Oh, and Yunyuk isn't here yet. He said he woke up late because of travel nerves or something. Yunyuk? Well, I don't believe it. I was gonna tell him in person, but... We don't have to avoid each other anymore. So... What are you doing here by yourself? Aren't you coming in? Huh? Not not yet. Come on. Hey! Dola, I'm not ready yet! Oh ho ho. Regardless of whether I was ready or not, we were in the hottest season. Oh uh, hey, seriously? <laughs> And I was getting ready for the hottest confession of my life. Operation True Love, episode 85. The 12.55 p.m. train for Ga Gangnyun is... Dear passengers, two hours to the station and then 30 more minutes. Guess I'll t get there at a reasonable time. From now on, we have to keep our distance. Don't even come near you, let alone answer. Yeah, cause I might get hurt if you're near me. Right. Is it because of that bus accident a while back? Well, that too, but that's not all of it. Sue, one, Sue thinks I'll get hurt if I'm with her. Two, so she'll get nervous if we're on the same train. Three, in conclusion, I need to travel separately. This has been my thought process. Four, she might feel bad if I say it's because of her, so I'll just tell her I woke up late. Mm. Huh? Situation. I was gonna tell you in person, but we don't have to avoid each other anymore. Uh. Mm. Come quick. I miss you. Uh. Oh, you knew, no. My friends over there won't know it, enjoying their last summer before our final year of high school. But I have a hidden objective for this trip, and that is confessing to Yunyuk. After more direct confrontations with the Meringue CEO, I didn't tell Yunyuk that we no longer have to keep away from each other right away because I was planning a surprise confession on this trip. Also, I don't want to bother him during the exam period. I wanted to gift him the most grand movie scene confession because he waited for me. Although, I've already let it slip that we don't have to avoid each other anymore in that impulsive text earlier. But there's still that surprise confession left. The start 
deviated a little from my plan, but it's okay. Because the rest will go perfectly. My plan for the perfect, perfect confession. Step one. When my exhausted step, exhausted friends fall asleep, I'll call Yunyuk outside. It'll be around 11 p.m. Step two. I will appear wearing an angelic white dress suited for seaside activities I've selected after countless mental simulations. I spent a whole month's allowance on this. Step three. We'll spend some quality time together with fireworks I've prepared. Don't forget the crackling sparkler sticks. Here. A spot not too far from our lodging that's quiet with a great wide view. Step four. After waking a little to after walking a little to the spot, I'll casually casually suggest that we rest here a little and sit down. Step five. When we're sitting down, I'll say, hmm, this song is nice. Wanna listen? And casually offer him one of the earphones and we'll listen to a romantic song I've prepared. Falling slowly, Glenn Hansard and Marquetta Glova. I cannot read that text for the life of me. Step six. After setting a romantic mood with the song, with the stars twinkling above us and the waves crashing in the background, I will tell him how I feel with the awesome gifts and speech I've prepared. Wishing bracelet. If you make a wish, wear it and then break the bracelet. Your wish will come true. It's perfect. Go. Cool. Oh. At the worst possible time. I like you too. Is that the reason enough to wait? I asked Yunyu to wait for me without giving him any sort of explanation. Can you open the back door? I forgot to press the bell. Sorry. Huh? Want to walk a little? The hell? You're gonna be late, man. Despite my basically unreasonable request. <laughs> he waited patiently without complaint or protest. It must have been frustrating for him, and he must have had questions. But I know his silent patient patience was for my sake. So I have a duty to camera Com uh, commemorate the end of his wait with something special. I need a perfect confession. Yun Yuk, I... Uh... Huh? Huh? <gasps> oh, oh, I was like, <gasps> what? What happened? Yun Yuk? I missed you so much. Oh, okay. For a second, I thought it was like some random pervert grabbed her. And I was like, oh, what the hell? That is disgusting. Um, but luckily it is him. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.